Filmed live at 985 Com Ave and sponsored by BU Today, it's Puppy Love. Today's guests are video intern Stella Shalita and BU Today intern Sasha Gary. And I'm Andy Rader. Take it, Rhett. Thanks, Andy. How about these decorations, huh? And welcome to Puppy Love. Our first question comes from Jessica, who's asking, so traditionally in a relationship, it's usually like the guy who needs to pay for everything. So I'm thinking, um, should it be equal? Like, what are the opinions on sharing bills or paying for meals, things like that? I think whoever asks the person out should have, like, should be prepared to pay. So if you ask a girl out, you should be willing to pay for all of it. She doesn't know where the dinner is going to be. If it's super expensive, like, you can't expect her to pay for that. But same goes for if a girl asks a guy out. Typically it's still the guy, and my mom and women's studies teacher is going to hate me for saying this, but I think it, there is something to be said for tradition. I think we should be aiming more for equality, so if the woman wants to pay, I think that should be okay. And that's maybe something you could negotiate on the date. But you know what, there's no shame on uh, splitting it. Or you know what, you know, the guy can pay for it and the girl can uh, take the tip. You cannot put that on there. Our next question comes from Jose. My question is, is there ever a good breakup? Is there ever a way to let someone down easy? There are plenty of bad ways to break up with someone. The least personal it is, the worse it is on the other person. Don't do it over text. Don't do it over Facebook message. If you're not around each other, find a way to get a hold of the person on the phone or video chat. But the best, ultimately, is still face to face. Choosing a venue for where the breakup's gonna happen is key too. I would recommend a kind of semi-private but public Place, maybe a coffee shop. You don't want to do it somewhere too private where it gets really awkward. And you can't leave. Yeah. Or Jose, just make him watch this video and uh, we'll take care of it for you. So, uh, dear Jose's uh, main squeeze, you're, uh, you're fired. Something. I don't know. So our next question comes from Michelle who asks, So you know the saying, it's not you, it's me? What if it is you? What do I do then? I think if it's something having to do with attraction or something that they can't control, don't tell them. It's just going to hurt them even more than the breakup. However, if your um, emotions have been hurt uh, or um, it's something a little bit more serious about their personality, that probably is something that they can change. It would be beneficial to be upfront. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed answering questions here and hope you guys have a good Valentine's Day. You too, Rat. Aw, thanks. And remember, whether your heart's been smashed to pieces or you're a lost little puppy in that big bad world of love, we'll be right here for you. Right here on Puppy Love. Right? Yeah!